from getting confirmation the ground propellant feed has been terminated. We'll have one more umbilical to separate. And there you can see the engines now firing. The launch command issued. These engines now ramping up. Engine turbo pumps at flight speed. Engines at maximum. And liftoff. Mark Vandehei, Alexander Mazurkin, and Joe Acaba lifting off and now on their way to the International Space Station. Ten seconds. A little over ten seconds already into the flight, getting good first stage performance. So he's delivering about 930,000 pounds of thrust from those four boosters and the core engine. seconds and the vehicle is stable. Continuing to get good calls. The vehicle stable. Everything looking great as it sears across the Kazakh sky there, burning an image across the black. Pressure is this first stage going to burn liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds into the flight. 60 seconds. Your pitch roll are nominal. So the yaw, the pitch, the roll, everything determining the attitude of the rocket, basically which way it's pointing, all looking good. Continuing to get good first stage performance from the Soyuz rocket. Eighty seconds. Booster motion control system parameter. And at this point, the vehicle already moving in excess of 1,100 miles per hour. We're a little over a minute and a half into the flight since liftoff. Still getting good calls on vehicle performance. Everything looking great. The next major milestone coming up is going to be that escape tower actually being jettisoned. And just got confirmation the escape tower has been jettisoned. And getting a great view there, you just saw the four strap-on boosters have been jettisoned, their job complete. So use already at an altitude of about 28 statute miles, traveling at over 3,350 miles per hour. 130 seconds, the vehicle is stable. So we're over two minutes now since the launch. Everything looking great. The first stage has done its job. Those four strap-on boosters have dropped away. That single core engine now continuing to fire. Getting confirmation from the visiting vehicle officer here that the launch shroud has been jettisoned. So the Soyuz spacecraft now exposed. The rocket's altitude about 48 miles high. And at this point in the flight, as we just passed three minutes, the Soyuz already traveling at speeds in excess of 4,700 miles per hour. And again, the core stage is the second stage, continuing to perform as expected. It's 56 feet in length, 13 and a half in diameter, and has a single engine with four fuel chambers that provide between 178,000 and 222,000 pounds of thrust, depending on the altitude, for its three minutes and 28 seconds of operation. The stage is going to continue to burn until about the 4 minute 43 second mark. Then the Soyuz will be ready to do what's called a hot stage technique, and that's when the third stage will ignite while the second is still burning. That's why, if you remember views of that rocket, there's that lattice structure, that open area between the second and third stages. And we've just crossed four minutes since launch.